What's up everyone, Tim here from Everyday Tactical Vids. Today we're looking at this product that came to us from Precision Rifle Supply. I'll put a link down below to their website, so definitely head over there and check them out. This is the Suma Pro slash Suma PSK Professional Personal Survival Kit. Now the really cool thing about this survival kit is that it meets the specs for the survival kits that Navy SEALs are carrying. There's a link down below as well to a Time Magazine article that talks about what Navy SEALs carry in their survival kits, and this kit has all that stuff. Now with that said, I want to note they've taken a couple of the more kind of contentious items out like a lockpick set and a handcuff key, but you can buy those at other websites for relatively inexpensive prices. If you want a personal survival kit that's really good quality and is going to last you for a long time, you definitely want to check this out. So we're going to open it up, show you all the gear on the table here, and uh, maybe you'll be interested in getting one of these from Precision Rifle Supply. Here we are looking at the kit. It does come in this nice khaki or tan nylon pouch. Let me show you quickly. This is the information that comes with it. So you get this little uh, you know, card on the back here. It's got a picture of all the gear and then it has a description of all the gear there as well. So it's nice to know, you know, in case you forget what's actually in the kit, you don't have to take it apart. You can just look at the card there. Okay, let's unzip the kit here. One of the first things you'll see is that there are a bunch of kind of free items that are not, you know, in some sort of bag or packaging uh, all together. So you have these four items, and then this here, and then your paracord, and then the rest of the items are going to be inside this little tin. So you basically got, you know, all these items right here, and the majority are going to be in here, but that's everything that's included inside the kit. So what you're looking at here is the large kit. There's also a small kit and there's just a couple differences. The main one is that the container on the small kit is smaller. It's two and a half by four by one and a half, whereas this one is three by five by one and a half. Also in this large kit, you're gonna get two additional uh, fast fires. You're gonna get the type three nylon cord. You're gonna get a folding razor blade. You're gonna get a nicer compass. You're gonna get two uh, more water purification tabs, and you're gonna get an additional nine by 10 waterproof bag. So those are the main differences uh, between the two different kits, but let's talk about what's here in the large kit. First, let's discuss the container. This is anodized, so you can put this in the fire, you can boil water, you can cook stuff in it, and it's not gonna be chipping off and getting metal into your, uh, into your meal. It does have the lid here with this hook and loop on the top, and then you got these straps, so you can you know put stuff in there and it's not gonna fall out. It's sturdy enough you could actually even dig with it, and certainly, you know, if you found something you want to carry around, you could put it in here. I, I saw this and immediately thought about boiling water, cooking food, and making char cloth. So there's that. Here's the bag that it came in. Certainly, you could carry stuff in this. Now, if you found a bunch of wild edibles, this is a great way to uh, great way to carry it. You do have the, um, it looks like paracord, but they're calling it officially Type 3 nylon cord with a little carabiner there as well. This is definitely non-weight bearing, but useful for a lot of different things. You have your astronaut blanket, your emergency blanket, you know, reflect heat back to you, make a small shelter out of it. You get these four fast fires to get your fire started. Here's your two uh, water bags or waterproof bags. So you have one full size like that, and this other one's about half the size of it. And I love this idea. You know, you finally find a water source and you're like, okay, I got some water. How am I gonna, you know, get my water prepared so I can consume it? Am I gonna have to boil, you know, it's a tiny little amount of water in here. Let it cool down and drink it. Boil more water, let it cool down and drink it. Well, since you do have these water purification tabs, find the right ratio to the bags, throw it in, and now you got water you can actually carry around. You don't just stay by that water source if you had to, uh, to move and go somewhere else. Uh, we do have some triple antibiotic ointment here. Certainly good for medical purposes, but also uh, to get a fire going. You do have some of these cotton tabs down here. We talked about the water purification tabs. Duct tape here, then we have an emergency whistle. Here's the folding razor. Certainly not a survival knife, but you know if you had to uh, skin a game or get cut into, say you caught a fish, you want to gut it, you could use this to slice and get into something like that. Uh, if you had to do any small, you know, removing some small things from your skin, you could use the tip of the razor. But that's included in the kit. You have this small light, which is not only good just for, you know, if you drop something you're looking around, but also obviously for signaling if you had to do that. This is the compass. The main difference between this compass and the other one is that this actually is on a plate, you know, so it's, um, and I don't know if you can see it there, but you got some of the measurements on the side. So just as far as navigation, this one's going to work better than just a little dinky uh, button compass. They call this, I think, a personal medical vial. Um, so if you had, you know, some sort of, you had this as your kit, you could put some sort of medicines or things in there. 
couple safety pins. Uh, down here on the bottom, this is the fishing kit and the sewing kit. And uh, so you got some some 14 pound test line there. You got a couple hooks, actually a couple um, a couple lures in there, and then some of these kind of things that you would attach to a hook, and it's flavored, it smells, draw the fish in. So that's nice. Multi tool inside this little rubber um, cover, and I'll show you that in one moment. And then you do have some wire there. Got some quick tinder here to get a fire started. You do have some waterproof, look like Yuko matches. Can opener here. Pick this up without stabbing myself. A needle, and they put this little uh, yellow tip cover on it, so make sure you don't sh make sure you don't stab yourself. Do have some Kevlar line. Here's your fire steel, a pencil with an eraser, a little hacksaw. Down here we've got five pieces of right in the rain paper, and you can obviously get right on both sides. Looks like we only no, I thought we only had four, but we do have five, five pieces there. And then I thought this was actually one thing. Let me see if I can pick it up off the table here. I thought this is one thing, but it's actually two. You got your signal mirror, and then your um, your uh, magnifying lens. So you know if you can get get some angle from the sun and get some uh, light through there, you can get a fire going with that as well. And certainly you can use this for signaling. Um, you can actually look at, there's my lovely face. Hello, everybody. And yeah, you know, if you had to like look around your side, you could see if you had something, you know, maybe the back of your leg by looking over your shoulder. Always nice to have a mirror in a uh, survival situation. Here's a quick look at your multi-tool. It does come all folded up and put inside this, which kind of looks like an oversized Ranger band, and it's made of material like you would find for the inner tube of a bicycle tire. So we have your pliers. You also have wire cutters down there. You can strip your wires there. In the actual uh, set of tools here, you've got a small blade, you've got a Phillips head screwdriver, and a flathead screwdriver. You have a very small pair of tweezers, which I really like the fact that that's included in the kit. And then you have a small flathead screwdriver, and then a, um, a file there. Looks like you could probably, if you had to, maybe use one, two, maybe the file or this really small one to punch through something like an awl. I wouldn't try to, you know, punch through leather or something, but if you had to punch through plastic or something like that, you could probably use, you know, one of those ends to do so. Here's a look at your multi-tool all folded up and back inside this band. And just so you can get a sense of the measurement, it's about two inches long and then just about an inch and I would say about an inch and a half wide. All right, so I'm kind of having a moment here because uh, without a ton of effort, I was able to get all the items back into their original containers and then everything into this bag. And I didn't lose my mind in the process. So many of those pre-made survival kits, you know, they're like airtight inside the container. Once you get the items out, it's pretty much impossible to get them back into the original container so you don't lose things. This is really easy to reassemble the whole thing. And there's still some room inside this bag so you can put a couple extra items inside the bag. Now, if you see this and you think, that's awesome, I want to get one, but I wish it had a knife within the kit. Well, not a major issue because you can head over to Precision Rifle Supply and pick up something like this, which is a more bushcrafter. You got your sharpening stone, you got a ferro rod and then obviously your knife. And if you wanted to, without a lot of work, you could attach this knife to the kit. And now, you know, the whole thing is just one big unit all together and ready to go. There you have it. We've been looking at the Suma Pro slash Suma PSK Professional Personal Survival Kit available over at Precision Rifle Supply. I'll put the link down below to their website, so head over there and check it out. And um, I really like this kit. I love the fact that it's based off a kit that real operators out there in the military are using. It's not just somebody who's like, hey, I think this would be a cool couple items to throw in a kit. Real guys who are really out there in the real world who might truly need a survival kit. They're saying, this is what I want. This is what we need in our kit and this kit comes with us. That's really cool. Again, Precision Rifle Supply, thank you guys for sending this along for review. And uh, thanks as always for checking out our videos here on YouTube. Please subscribe to Everyday Tactical Vids on YouTube if you haven't done so already. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, check us out on Instagram and Tumblr as well. Take care.